Hey everyone, welcome to a Fringe tutorial from easyprogramming.net. I plan on expanding my tutorials in the coming year, and I thought I'd start with a quick tutorial on how to install Composer and Laravel 5 in a cPanel account. Uh, I've done PHP programming for some time for my own projects, uh, but never really used any frameworks for any of my projects, which is not always a good idea. Uh, Laravel 5 is great. Laravel itself is great. Uh, going into 2016, I plan on fully learning Laravel and using it uh, as much of it as I can to my benefit. Uh, Laravel 5 is still pretty new and tutorials online are a bit lacking. I was able to successfully run and test Laravel locally using their documentation, uh, but it doesn't really cover cPanel account or hosting account. It assumes that you're, you're using uh, a base Linux server uh, such as on Linode or or uh, what's the other one? DigitalOcean. Uh, this can be done on any cPanel account, uh, including shared hosting. Uh, this I set up a little test account here, nas.tech doesn't really have anything here. I plan on using it just as a sandbox. Uh, this can be done on a, sh a shared hosting account. Uh, if you don't have SSH enabled on your shared hosting account, you should contact your host and get them to enable SSH. Another thing to note is that in this tutorial, if you follow this, you should it should be done in an empty account, or you should at least back up your public underscore HTML folder, because otherwise you will lose everything in that public uh, HTML folder because of how the structure of Laravel is. Uh, so what I have here is just a blank account that I set up on a uh, on a shared hosting account. So let's begin. All right, let's get to it. Um, in front of you, you have a regular putty screen, SSH. Uh, so I already logged into my NAS Tech account. Uh, the first thing you want to do is maybe look at what you have here. So I'll just do a little list and see what we have here. Uh, as I mentioned before, you have the public underscore HTML folder. This is what your uh, your what your outside visitors see when they log in. Uh, this is what they're hitting. So, since I have nothing, it's just the CGI bin directory, uh, as what you saw earlier. So, you want to be in the root of the account, and the first thing you want to do is install Composer. So, it's wget uh, and get composer.org slash installer. That's a quick install, so once you install it, uh, it will have downloaded this little installer here. Uh, so you want to make sure that your your account here, your server here, can in fact run it, run Composer. So you want to do installer slash check. This will check, and it says all settings correct for using Composer. If something fails, then means you need to look at you know uh, look at a way to fix that. Uh, so once you're satisfied, you can run PHP installer. And there you go. That's all it is. So when you do another list again, you see composer.far. This is your composer. That's all there is. Uh, so the next thing to do is to let's remove installer. Why? Because so that you don't accidentally run it again. Uh, it'll override any settings that you have, or and it won't it won't give any hackers a ch uh, choice to uh, exploit anything. So if you list it again, the installer is now gone. I'm going to clear my screen. Uh, so let's set up a composer.far a Laravel project. If you don't know what uh, what commands they are for, for composer.far, if you just type in php composer.far, you get uh, this little breakdown of, of all the available commands. So you have about, archive, browse, clear cache, create project, that's what we're going to do, help if you need help, list, validate, migrate. Blah blah blah. I'll migrate in here. Install. So let's do um, PHP Composer far. It says create project. So we'll do create project. Okay, if you do it without any uh, any parameters, it'll say you know invalid arguments. So you need to install. You need to um, specify the preferred store, the preferred distribution, along with the name of the project and what you want to install. So we'll do Laravel. Laravel. And then we'll do the preferred distribution, which is uh, dash dash prefer dist. Once you do this, it could take a few minutes for it to run, for it to complete. All right, so that took a few minutes. I skipped uh, all the installing part. It ins downloaded and installed all the dependencies that Laravel depends on. And at the bottom, at the very bottom, it'll say. Um, 
it'll give you an application key and that it was set successfully. If it wasn't, um, look at the error and see what you need to do to fix that. Make sure you have all the parameters done properly. Uh, these are all the dependencies in Laravel that were installed along with Laravel. So if we do a list now, let me clear first and do a list now. There's a lot of junk on the screen. Now you have uh, a Laravel folder. So we'll go into Laravel. You see you have everything here, including the public folder. So this is where your your website is going to be. Um, so let's go back. We'll do this. So the next part is what I warned you about earlier, uh, that you need to make sure that uh, you either back up your public HTML folder or make sure that it's a brand new account and you have nothing to lose. Because the rest, this command here, rm-rf, will in fact remove everything including the root public.html folder. So I'll do this. If I do list, it's no longer there. So what we want to do is set up a soft link or um, also known as a symbolic link in Linux. Uh, we can do ln s link. S, the, the hyphen s is for symbolic. It's a, it's a soft link. I'll explain a little bit more. So what we want to do is we want to go to Laravel. So what this does is it's telling the server that anyone hitting the public HTML folder, which is required in cPanel, uh, anyone hitting a cPanel web account is going to go into the public HTML folder, and in this account, it will forward straight to Laravel underscore public. Uh, the same thing was done earlier with www. That's why it was a little blue. Now it's red. So once you do this, you list it. Uh, public HTML is back, and now it has a little at sign, which means it's a link. It's a soft link. So anyone hitting public.html, public underscore HTML, excuse me, will go straight into into Laravel public and see what's here. Uh, right now it's the index file. So once I go back to my web browser and I refresh my page, I will see that Laravel was installed successfully. All right, now that we have installed Laravel, uh, I'm going to refresh this page, and if I've done everything correctly, it should say Laravel 5. So I'm, oh, there we go. Beautiful, right? So this is Laravel. Laravel now works. Uh, in SSH, it's it's uh, going into my uh, Laravel slash public folder rather than public.html. Public.html is forwarding here to here. Um, pretty cool, right? So uh, as I learn, I will do my best to teach all of you as well. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have a cPanel account and you want to try out a PHP framework, Laravel is, is a great way to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.